Um, hi, everybody. I can only see the camera. Oh, wait. I, can I view the chat? Oh, okay. I do see you. I want to wait till more people join. And I want to wait to see what type of class should be given. I have Instagram Live going. I have YouTube Live going. And people are already asking what level what level is this class and depends who shows up if I have like all beginners showing up I'll make it an easier beginner class if I have more like intermediate advanced people showing up I'll make it more advanced um, I want everybody to be happy so I can try to go somewhere in the middle so maybe maybe not too technically challenging but enough to still keep your muscles strong Steve is operating the camera. <laughs> uh, Instagram cannot see, and I don't think anyone on YouTube can see, but Steve is operating the camera. He's the, he's the camera guy. He's the sound guy. He hooked a mic, he hooked a mic up on me, so uh, Insta uh, Instagram is not going to hear this beautiful audio, but uh, YouTube, the YouTube chat is going to hear the wonderful, pristine sound of my voice. And I actually have music today, which is pretty cool, because most of the time when I make content specifically for YouTube, uh, I'm afraid to use music because I don't want to get like a copyright strike or I want to be able to monetize the video. And if I use someone else's music, it's like, you can't monetize this. But since we're doing it live, maybe there's a way around it. Um, and I have, this is like the most basic, basic ballet music CD. Like, if you've ever taken a ballet class ever in your life, it was probably this music. <laughs> um, because it's very easy to count. It's, uh, it's just easy to count, and I feel like a lot of teachers will use it for, like, beginners' classes or children's classes. So... You really had a question. Did you see that? Where? Are you going to upload this live stream later? I want to do the class. But yeah, we'll save, we'll save this one so that it stays up on YouTube. Usually, usually I kind of just remove live chats after like a week or so because like it's not live anymore and sometimes it's not even relevant anymore. Um, but this one I can save so that it stays in my videos. So uh, people in YouTube, if you're in the chat, I'm not going to be able to look at the chat the entire time, but right now I can. I, I can read it off to you, too, if there's anything. Okay, so Steve is also going to read the chat to me. Um, shout out, you know, what kind of class do you want? Do you want, a, like, a beginner, like, super slow beginner? Do you want something intermediate? Um, I don't think we can go super crazy with an advanced class because... You know, we don't have the best environment right now. It would be very hard to do full variations in this tiny little living room. Um, so shout out what, what level class you were hoping for today. And I guess Instagram, too, if anybody wants to try to follow along. A lot of people are waving. Hi. I'm not going to be able to constantly read comments, but if you are watching Instagram and want to also participate in this class. Let me know what skill level you're hoping for. Or I could just go. I could just go and see what happens. And if it if it's I'd say go for like go for like beginner with a little with a little bit of a, a intermediate stuff and then it or do like a you can do like a, this version or if you want to challenge yourself go for this or something if that's possible to do. Yeah. I could just go and then like if it's too crazy or too complicated People can stop me and be like, eh, can you water it down a little bit? And then, like, sure, I'll water it down a little bit. So, I'm a beginner, but I could use something harder. So feel free to challenge. Don't go too easy on them. Okay. Okay. Um, it's probably not going to get super challenging uh, for the f un until, until, like, Big Ajays. Um, that's when it will start to get faster. I'm not going to try. I'm not going to try to trick you. But, you know, it is going to, you know, some combinations may be faster than others. Some may be longer than others. So while it's, I'm not trying to trick you, it will make you tired. So I have this little poopy piece of wood that I actually found in the dumpster the other day. And it's a little bit better for doing tendus and stuff because I'm not, like, stuck on the friction of the carpet. The only thing is there's not really enough room for Alice Agone, which is fine. I'll just 
ignore it. Um, so I also would like to know how many people have a carpet. Like, are you, are you dancing on a carpeted floor or do you have a wood floor? Because I have not been turning at all uh, on, on the carpeted floor, but now that I have this thing, I can incorporate some pirouettes. But, uh, you know, I'll just say, like, pirouette, and if you don't have a wood floor, just pr pretend pirouette <laughs> uh, preparation. Okay, so regular old plie, in fact. I'm not going to use the wood for plie because it's going to be very strange in second position. So we don't need, we don't really need the wood floor for plies. So uh, plie combination. We're going to do a demi plie with your arm elongé, susu, demi plie, grand plie. Let's reverse the arm just to do something different. Turn in. Port de bras uh, forward, backwards, and then second. I'm going to do this with music right now. I'm just talking. I'm going to say the combination and then do it with you with the music. So, same pattern in second position. Uh, demi plie, arm mélangé, sous sous, plie, grand plie, reverse the arm to the bar or whatever you're using as a bar away from the bar. Fourth position, same pattern. Demi plie, sous sous, demi plie. Grand plie, uh, sorry, grand plie, reverse the arm, and then we're going to do a circular port de bras. So you go, reach, go forward first, up, show this first position arm before you go to the bar, all the way around and back. Fifth position, demi plie, su su, demi plie, grand plie, reverse the arm, and then reverse port de bras. So show this first position first before you. Go away from the bar, all the way around to the floor, and we'll do your standard balance in fifth position, and you can bring your arms up to third, or depending on your training, fifth, a uh, Vaganova method, we call this third. So you can do something with your arms to test your balance. And we're gonna start with the music. First position, demi plie arm mélangé, sous sous, demi plie, reverse the arm, grand plie, turn in for this one, feet in parallel, forward. Stay in parallel and back. Turn out, second position. Same thing, demi plie, arm mélangé. Sous sous. Demi plie. Grand plie, reverse the arm. To the bar, or whatever you're using as a bar. And away. Fourth position. Don't tell me that's over already. Hold on, sorry, fourth position. That was a short track. I don't know what kind of plies they're doing. Fourth position, demi plie, arm mélangé. Sous sous. Demi plie. Grand plie, reverse the arm. And we're going to reach forward and then all the way around, circular port de bras. Show this first position before you go. Into fifth position, demi plie, arm mélangé. Sous sous. Demi, grand with the reverse arm. And we're going to reverse. So show first position, then go. And 
balance. Pause that while we balance. <laughs> Okay, so that is a short track, so sorry, I have to start it over between second position and fourth position. Um, yeah. yeah, but I want to see, I'm catching up on comments. No comments, okay, you're all dancing, you don't have to comment. Just comment if something is like going wrong and you need, and you need some kind of uh, assistance. Ready for the other side? Okay, other side. Now you get to stare at my butt. Arme lunge. Relevé. Demi plie. Reverse the arm. Grand plie. Feet parallel, forward and back. Turn out second position. Elange. Susu or releve. Demi plie. Grand plie, reverse the arm. To your fake bar. Away from the bar. And I'm starting the music over for fourth position. Demi plie arm melange. No, it's fine. Reverse the arm, grand plie. Reach forward all the way around. To the bar and back. Squeeze into fifth position, demi plie. Arme lunge, susu, demi plie, grand plie, reverse the arm, reverse the port de bras, so show first position arm, then away, back, to the bar, and down. Balance, squeeze your thighs together, straighten your knees, stretchy, stretchy. Arms can go from first to third. You can do one arm, one, one arm in first, one arm in third. You can play with them. <laughs> and one little note, since we have, since we have a beginner here, just like one, one little thing I want to, make sure everybody keeps in mind whenever you're doing a port de bras especially when your arm goes over your head so for example let's say you're in second position and your arm is up you're getting ready to do your port de bras to the bar be mindful that you keep this this space between your arm and your head this is this is where it stops you have to imagine that you have like an invisible wall or an invisible line going down the center of your body and that's it. That's that's as far as your arm can go. So you don't want to overcross your arm. And when you do your port de bras, you don't want your arm like laying on your head. So wherever third position is, that's where your arm stops. You keep the space and you continue the port de bras bending. Oh, sorry. You bend with your body. So once you hit here, the arm stays. Don't let it go <laughs> if that makes sense. And the it goes it goes for any port de bras. So when we did the big circular port de bras, and we were here and here, like you you don't overcross the arm. You still have this invisible wall here. It's the body that goes, not your arm. You don't cross your arm 
in front of your center. You're here, and then as you're bending your body, it goes up here. So you're not going, <laughs> you're keeping it, you're not crossing center, right? Yes? Okay. Um, we're going to do tendus from first. I think I'm going to use my stupid piece of wood. Um, let me listen to the music for one second. Okay, it's a slow one. Okay, so we're going to start from first. We're going to do tendu, turn it in, turn it out, flex, point. Actually, let me see if this works with the music. I'm sorry. Okay, that works. Yes, yeah, so um, from first position, uh, we're going to do tendu, turn it in, turn it out, flex point, demi plie, your arm comes right in front of you, first position, don't overcross, we just talked about this, point, close. We're going to do the same thing to the side and to the back, probably to the side again, so the pattern doesn't change. Tendu, turn in, turn out, flex, point, plie, point, first, same thing to the back, turn in, turn out, flex, point, plie, I think there's enough music to do it to the side. And then if there's music left over, we're going to do a plie, a plie, plie, forced arch, roll up if there's music, and do a balance in first position. Okay, so one more time. The, the same pattern, front side, back side. Tendu, turn in, turn out, flex, point, plie, make sure you're Turning out from the hips, rotate your hips, rotate everything out, fourth position, same thing to the side, in, out, flex, point, plie in second, to the back, in, out, flex, point, plie fourth. If there's music, one last time to the side, and then again, if there's music, plie, roll up, balance in first. Benny. Sorry, my cat wants attention. <laughs> From first, <laughs> front, turn in, turn out, flex, point, plie, fourth, point, close, first, to the side, tendu, turn in, turn out, flex, point, plie, second, point, close, first, to the back, tendu, turn in, turn out, Flex, point, plie, fourth position, point, close to the side, flex, point, plie, continue with the plie roll up balance, I paused the music, so try to balance in a first position, get your heels very high off the floor. And we'll do the other side. This board is not big enough for my feet in first position. Maybe that's good. All right. Time to do front, turn in, turn out, flex, point, plie fourth, arm in first, point, close first. To the side, turn in, turn out, flex, point, plie second, point, Close first. Keep your hips even. Don't twist. Flex. Point. Fourth position. Point. Close first. To the side. Turn in. Turn out. Flex. Point. Plie. Point. Close. And plie. Force arch. Pause the music. Continue. Keep your heels very high off the floor, straighten your knees, 
rotate, make your butt cheeks kiss each other, thighs are rotating, the out, outside of the thighs are going in towards the kissing butt cheeks, and then the insides of your thighs are reaching forward, like continuous circles with your thighs, if that makes sense. Okay, that was a good balance. Benny's watching. Show Benny. Most of the chat, most of my YouTube chat anyway, people that show up for the live YouTube chats, they're just here for Benny. He is the thumbnail. He is the thumbnail. Can I show Instagram too? No, I'm gonna break your camera thing. Did you just step on the laptop? All right, hold on, Tundu from fifth. Let me hear the music real quick. Okay. Sorry, everyone. I have not taught like a real ballet class since 2015, I think. With music. Yeah, with music. I haven't taught a ballet class to students in real time since 2015, and that was like kids. So, um, since we have a beginner here, we're gonna we're gonna work a little bit on that that turnout. So, get yourself in fifth position. If you're a beginner, you might not have like a perfectly crossed fifth position yet, and that's fine, that will come in time. If you're still a little open or still a little turned in, don't worry about it, you're working on it. So you don't have to, you know, don't force your body to do anything it's not ready to do yet. But what we're going to do is five, six, seven, eight. You're going to do demi point. Actually, we're gonna add a plie. A plie will make this more comfortable. So you're gonna do demi point, plie, up, down. One tendu and one more. Demi, uh, demi point, demi plie, up and down. One tendu to the side, close back. One tendu to the side, close front. We're going to do the inside leg back. This is the little, little trick. It's not difficult. You're doing the same thing. You're just going to switch legs. So you're going to do inside leg back, demi point, demi plie, pick it up, Put it down to, to the back. And then you're going to do second position, poule pie, which just means press your heel down, up. And then you're going to do two poule pies faster. One, two, and then close it back. And then we're going to do the whole thing to the back. So demi, uh, demi point, plie, pick it up, put it down, two tendus to the back. Demi point plie, pick it up, put it down, two, to the side. Inside leg front, demi point plie, pick it up, put it down, two, regular tendus to the side, press, hold, and then two, press, close fifth. Um, is that okay for my, my beginners that are seeking a challenge? Do you think you'll be okay as long as you can follow along? Uh, maybe I'll just go because I, I don't. I also don't want people leaving their their spot to type on their computers. Um, so we'll try it and let's see how it goes. So from fifth. Wait, wrong music. This one. Demi point. Up, down, two, tendus, demi point, plie, pick it up, put it down, to the side, to the side, inside leg back, same thing, demi point, plie, pick it up, put it down, two, tendus, to the back, now outside leg again, one, with a plie, hold it there, two, quick, now close right leg, back. And that's it. It was a short track, but we're going to do it reverse now. We're going to do on day dan when the music starts. Which it should start now. Five, six, seven, eight. Demi point, 
plie, coup de pied, put it down. Two, tendus to the back, demi point, plie, pick it up, put it down. Two, tendus to the side. Now inside leg front, demi point, plie, coup de pied, put it down. Two, inside to the front. Now outside leg to the side, press your heel down. Hold it for a second, now too quick. One, two, and finish. And we're going to turn around and do the left side. Left foot front, so demi point, plie, pick it up, put it down, two, tendus, same thing side. Demi point, plie, pick it up, put it down, two, to the side, inside leg back now. Demi point, plie, coup de pied, put it down, two, to the back. Oh, sorry, I messed up, I goofed up. One coup de pied, and then two. That was my bad, I'm sorry. After inside leg back, just coup de pied, and then two quick, and now we're getting ready to start. Reverse your right foot. Your left foot is back now. I'm gonna confuse everybody. <laughs> You're gonna come out of here even more confused. So, demi point, plie, pick it up, put it down, two tendus back. Same thing side. Demi point, plie, pick it up, put it down, two tendus. Alice to inside leg front now. Demi point, plie, pick it up. Put it down, two to the front. Left leg to the side, pull the pie, just put the heel down. And then two quick, one, two, and close. Hi, P&D, customer service. Nick, how are you? Uh, we're, we're going to start fast um, degages, but real quick before, before I move on. Um, I gave you that plie because it is always easier to turn out when your legs are bent. So um, I should have said this before giving you this exercise. The whole point of adding that plie was so you could feel like, ooh, I, I just loosened up, like I can crank my, my turnout a little bit more. So the goal was to feel that in your plie and then try to keep it even as you straightened. So if you wanna try that again later or just Anytime you're you're trying to like work on your turnout, it's always easier. It's always easier when you have that plie. So the plie is kind of like helping you grab onto that feeling before you continue with the other leg movements. And I hope you felt that also. Let me take a sip of water and listen to this music that I hate, and we'll do a degage combination. Okay, so we're going to do five, six, seven, eight. We're going to do front leg, two slow, three fast. Inside leg back, I'm, I'm giving you a little bit of a challenge by getting you to switch your legs. So we did outside leg front, two slow, three fast, and now inside leg back, two slow, three fast. So we did outside uh, right leg to the side, one, two, one, two, three. We're going to do a little susu, bring your arm up in third, and then come back down, and then we're gonna reverse the whole thing. Two, slow, three, fast. Inside leg, two, slow, three, fast. Outside leg to the side, two, slow, three, fast. Little susu, bring your arm up in third, and then if we have music or if you're feeling secure, you can let go and bring the other arm up, too. Sorry, the preparation is longer than I thought. My bad. One, two, one, two, three. Inside leg, back. Two, one, two, three. To the side. One, two, one, two, three. Plie, su, su. 
and plie, prepare right leg back. One, two, one, two, three, inside leg, front, two, one, two, three, to the side, one, two, one, two, three, plie, susu. If you want to balance, bring the other arm up. Pause it. And we'll get ready for the other side. Sorry, I'm a little, I'm a little crooked on the Instagram. Left leg. Degages from fifth, too slow, three fast. Front, two, one, two, three, inside leg back. One, two, one, two, three, left leg side. One, two, one, two, three. Little susu, and come down, left leg back. One, two, one, two, three, inside leg, front. Two, one, two, three, to the side. One, two, one, two, three, plie, balance, arms. Sorry, arms in third, or one arm third, one arm first, or both arms third. Balance, balance, balance. And I think we're ready for ronde jambes. So ronde jambes from first, five, six, prepare seven, eight, and brush one, brush two, and with plie, this is a slow one, stay in plie, even as your leg does the full circle. Up, uh, three, fast, and then one circle in the air. It doesn't have to be super high, just 45 degrees off the ground. 45 degrees means, uh, like if this is 90 degrees, I'm making a right angle. 45 is between the floor and 90, if, in case you didn't know. Um, so, sorry, we had... One, two, a slow one in plie. Three, fast, one in the air. Kick the couch. Uh, one, grand bat ma through passe in the back. And then, and then one, grand rond de jambe en l'air. Tendu front, and that is your preparation to reverse. So one more time, I'll just, I'll just say it. We did one, two, slow with plie. Three, fast, in the air. Up, passe, to the back. One big grand rond de jambe en l'air. Brush front, and this is how you prepare to reverse the whole thing. So to reverse, we have one, two, slow one with plie. One, two, three, uh, 45 degrees. Big one, passe, big one, grand rond de jambe en l'air. Do not brush this one back, keep this one. And if there is music, I'm going to give you a long Vaganova style rond de jambe combination where you do a lunge. So if we have music, you're gonna do a lunge, you're going to Bend back to the leg, you're going to come up, you're going to do another bend back towards the leg, pick it up, and we're going to do a panche, come up, and let's do a balance in attitude. So one, two, slow with plie, three, fast in the air. Big one, passe to the back, grand rond de jambe en l'air, brush front, prepare to reverse. Two, one slow with plie, three fast, in the air, up, passe front, grand rond de jambe en l'air, keep it there, close fifth. Inside leg is doing all the work now. Inside leg, lunge down, come up, back bend, first arabesque, panche, up, attitude, arms third. It's long, but I will be with you and you can follow along. If there's enough music, I might have to pause it or start it over in between. So let's try it. Six, plie, seven, eight, 
and brush one, brush two, slow one with plie, three fast, one, two, three, and in the air, front, side, back, big one, passe, and open it to the back, crown rond de jambe en l'air, brush front, and get ready to reverse. Reverse brush one, two, slow, plie, and three fast. One, two, three, in the air, and big one, passe, stretch it front, grand rond de jambe en l'air, and now we're going to close fifth, and I think we have music. Uh, inside leg back, lunge, bend back to the leg if you wish, and then stand up, and do another little back bend, bring your leg up with you, show first arabesque and panche, come up, plie, releve, and attitude, try to balance, Take a breath. Um, there might ha there might be time before the grand rond de jambe en l'air for one more parterre, which is you can do it. I might do it. That just means after this one, bum bum bum. There was time for one on the floor before the grand rond de jambe en l'air. Sometimes the having one on the floor before the big one in the air kind of helps. It's probably more of a challenge to go right from one in the air to Grand Ronde Jean Monlaire, it's up to you. You do have time for like one more. Let's start to the left. I'll shut up now. I talk a lot. I'm sorry. Like it's been 40 minutes. Ronde Jean's usually happen at the half hour mark. We didn't start. I talk a lot. <laughs> sorry. To the left. Preparation seven, eight, and brush one. Two, slow one with plie, side, back, three fast, one, two, three, in the air, 45 degrees, now we get the big one, up, through passe, to the back, this is where you have time for one more on the floor, before you do the big one, brush front, but that's up to you, and to the back, one, two, and a slow one with plie, three fast, and 45 degrees off the floor, the big kick through passe, front, if you want to do one more on the floor before the big one, it's fine, fifth position, inside leg is doing all the work now, inside leg lunge, you can bend back to the leg, People on YouTube that have the feed from the mic can hear how out of breath I am. <laughs> Arabesque, panche. And then attitude balance. I'm gonna pet the kitty. <laughs> You're so good. <laughs> He's so good. Can you hear how out of breath I am on the mic? <laughs> I can't right now because it's very echoey for me. Okay. YouTube can hear how much I'm panting already. <laughs> uh, fondue. Let me give a listen. I can never think of a good fondue combination. Seven, oh, little thing. When you do a preparation for your fondue combination, you don't do the whole arm thing for your preparation. Fondue is just elange and then go. I know I have not been good about arm preparations because I'm like playing the music and then, and then going, but um, little hints for fondue and for adagio. You don't do the whole five, six, seven, eight. For fondue and adagio, you just do seven, eight. 
uh, and that was just stalling because I can't think of a good fondue combination. Seven, eight, fondue to the front. You know what, do a plie and the leg that's in the air, do an attitude. This is really a good, like, am I turning out exercise. Straighten and close. And then you're gonna do the same thing inside leg back. Uh, fondue, extend inside leg back, plie attitude, open, close. To the side, plie, out, attitude, straighten, and then a demi rond de jambe to the back, close. And then we're gonna do the same thing, reverse. So right leg back, fondue, open, plie. For some reason, I guess because you're bending your legs, bending the legs, you can really, it's so much easier to feel your turnout and crank these butt muscles for your turnout. So uh, fondue, open, plie attitude, extend, close. Inside leg, we're switching legs so that we don't tire out one leg right away. And then to the side, plie, extend, rond de jambe to the front. And I think we just turn around. If there's music, we'll just start the second side right away. So outside leg, Bend both, straighten both, fifth. Inside leg, bend at the same time, straighten at the same time, bend at the same time, straighten at the same time. To the side, bend at the same time, straighten at the same time, bend, straighten, bring it to the back, reverse. So with fondue, everybody does this, I do it too. A little mistake, a lot of the times we straighten the standing leg, before fully straightening the working leg. They're supposed to bend and straighten at the same time. So for a lot of us, that means thinking about the working leg a little sooner. Because a lot of us get in the habit of straighten, straighten, and it's not like that. Bend at the same time, straighten at the same time. So we're doing bend, straighten, bend, straighten. So we're like really reinforcing this bend, straighten at the same time feeling. Man, I get tired from talking. <laughs> I'm out of breath just from talking. Ah, uh, fondue. Is my voice too loud? Is my voice too loud? No, I know, I'm asking YouTube. I don't care about you. I've asked them already. You're, used to, you're used to hearing my loud, nasal, obnoxious voice. All right, fondue, here we go. <sighs> Just feel and Jay. And you don't have to do releve if you're too tired. Inside leg back, fondue, straighten, plie attitude, straighten. To the side, attitude, straighten, fight it, fight it, fight it. You can do it. Close. Now we're going to do right leg back. Same thing, fondue, arabesque, plie attitude. Straighten, inside leg, front. I don't know if there's music to start right away. No, but that's good, because I want to mention one more thing, because I can never shut up. When you do fondue, when you do fondue and you see people using the arm, fondue, to the front, fondue, you see the, how the arm goes through all these uh, positions every time you do a fondue. You use the arm every time you change directions. So, fondue to the front, fondue to the side, fondue to the back, you use the arm every time you change directions. If you are doing more than one in the same direction, so for example, if I'm doing two to the front, the arm stays. You can keep the arm in second position if you're doing more than one in the same direction. Your arm changes when your leg changes direction. Your arm stays when the leg stays. It's just a little, like you see me doing things with my arms and you're wondering like, can I keep it here? You can keep it here if your brain just isn't in the mood for doing all the arm stuff. But there is like a rule, or at least in the Vaganova method, there is a rule that the arm only you only use the arm when the leg is changing direction. And if you're doing more than one in the same direction, the arm can stay. So just a little 
little thing that makes it look like you know your stuff. And now we're doing the left. I will probably do releve on this side because my right calf is very weak and it needs the extra releves. But if you don't want to do releve, I'm not making you. Arm melange and fondue to the front, plie attitude. Benny's hunting the fly now. <laughs> Inside leg back, plie attitude to the side. To the back, fondue, plie, attitude, inside leg back. bad. <laughs> I think I have time for one more uh, frappe before I stop and restart Instagram. Five, five six, seven, eight. We're going to do, wait, five, how to ballet. Five, six, seven, eight. You can do flexed. Okay. This, this just depends on your training. I know frappe is like very divisive. This is a very controversial topic. Some people flex, some people don't flex. Some people strike the floor, some people don't strike the floor. I will either do flex or wrap, I don't care. I think I'll do flex for today just because I typically do not strike the floor. Vaganova does not like to strike the floor. We don't think it makes sense to drop the level of the leg because it's preparing us for like jumps. So why would we drop the level of the whatever. So I'm not striking, but you can strike if that's what you were taught. So we're going to do five, six, seven, eight, two to the front, three fast front. So two slow, three fast. Same thing to the side. Two slow, three fast. Double front, PK hold it. The accent of PK is up. So it's like you just you just touch the stove and you burnt yourself and you're like, oh, that's hot. Pick it up, double front, PK, double side, PK. And I think we can start to the back. So two, slow, three, fast. Two, slow, three, fast. Double back, PK, double side, PK. Oh, sorry, I forgot. There's time for a petite bat ma in between front and back. So I'm sorry. I mean a petite. Yes, petite batma. Two, slow, three, fast. Two, slow, three, fast. Double front, PK, double side, PK, and petite batma, which is this you can't flex for. Sorry. You wrap, so your heel is like touching the front of your calf and your toes wrap around, and it stays in that position. The only thing that happens is the lower leg moves in and out, and I am still very bad at this <laughs> to this day. Um, and as far as a double frappe goes, if you are a beginner and you're not comfortable with doing a fast double frappe, you can ignore it. So for example, two slow, three fast, two slow, three fast. The next thing is to the front with a PK. You can skip the double. You can just go in front PK, in side PK. If you want to try the double, you got to be really quick about it. And you do back front out PK. So whatever direction you're going, you got to add a little fanciness before it. And you can't do front front and then go. So the only other place you can go is back. I think I have a YouTube tutorial talking about frappes. But if for today you're like, I don't want to do double frappe, just skip it. So if you're skipping a double frappe, two, slow, three, fast. Two, slow, three, fast. You would ordinarily go back front before front, but if you're not doing it, you just go front, PK, side, PK, and petit, batma, da, 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 da. And then we're going to reverse the whole thing to the back. So two, slow, three, fast. Two, slow, three, fast. Double or no double, just back PK. Double or no double, side 
PK and Petit Batmas, and then I think that's all we have time for with the music. So cross your fingers, take a breath, remember to breathe. <laughs> Two, slow, three, fast. Two, slow, three, fast. Double front, pique up. Double side, pique up. And petit, ba, ma. And to the back. Two, slow, three, fast. Two, slow, three, fast. To the back, pique, hot floor. To the side, pique, hot floor. Petit, ba, ma. And finish. I know by the time you get to Petit Bat Ma, your foot's like a floppy little flipper. Or at least mine is. <laughs> now we'll do the left. You can see Benny hunting the fly. Two to the front. Three more fast. Two to the side. Three fast. To the front, pique, hot floor. To the side, pique, hot floor. Petit Bat Ma. And to the back, too slow. One. Two, three, fast. One, two, three. Two to the side. Three more. To the back. Pique. To the side. Pique. Petit bat ma. Okay, we're going to do an adagio and we're going to do grand bat ma, but I have to restart the Instagram because I think it will quit. Yo, Instagram people, this, it's been about an hour. It's going to automatically stop. So I'm just going to stop, end the video, share, and I'm going to restart another one, and we're starting with Adagio. Arm, we're going to do a Developé. You know what, let's do, let's do a big arm. We're going to do Developé to the front, put it down, Developé to the side, through Passé, Retiré, front again with a plié, Straighten side, bring it to the back. Um, we're going to plie side, plie back. So it's like a little plie sandwich, and the plie is the bread. So you had plie, straight, plie, close. And then I'm actually just going to give you a little porta bra forward. You're going to take a little breath, go forward. I know it feels weird with your right foot back, but do a porta bra forward. Breathe, and then we're going to reverse it. I'm looking at Instagram. I guess it's because I can see myself I'm using Instagram as a mirror and I feel like I'm ignoring the camera. I'm ignoring the YouTube people. Uh, so after your porta bra, reverse it. Uh, Develope to the back, close. Develope to the side, passe, back again with plie, straighten, plie, and then this porta bra is going to be to the back. Okay, so we have front, closed fifth. Side, don't close fifth. Return to passe, plie front, straighten side, plie back, close, porta bra forward. Reverse. Developé to the back, close fifth. Developé to the side, don't close fifth. Passe, plie back, straighten side, plie front, close, porta bra to the back. All right, adagio. Here we go. Can the Instagram people hear the music? I don't know. to the back, arabesque, close fifth, developé to the side, passe, to the back plié, plié sandwich, straighten, ah this sucks, plié, <laughs> and then port bra back. Sounds good. Okay, more music, okay. Hold on, this sucks. <laughs> My hips are broken. My butt cheek doesn't want to turn out. Uh, left leg.
course. I'm just trying not to pant into the microphone. This is the hardest part. And on de don, or on de jam, on there, the big one in the air, that's the hardest. I can never get from arabesque to <laughs> alisticon without doing like a weird hula hoop thing. Um, Grand Bat Ma. Okay, switching legs and with a pirouette. So two to the front, not too fast. Two inside leg back. So be careful, make sure you're not like gonna kick the thing behind you. You may need to angle your body slightly towards the thing you are holding on to so you don't like kick stuff. Um, two to the front, two to the back, two to the side. Plie, prep, uh, plie preparation, prepare, prepa, pre pre P words, ballet words, passe preparation for a pirouette from fifth, close back, reverse. Two to the back, two inside leg front. I'm gonna leave my arm in second position for this. If you like using big arms, you can use big arms, but I know I have the habit of dropping my elbow, so I'm gonna force myself to keep it side. Then he sees the fly again. <laughs> um, two outside leg, to inside leg, to outside leg to the side, plie, preparation, pirouette, good luck. And Nick or PND is trying to do Ronde de Jambes in the office. Yeah, that's not fun. Uh, you're gonna have even more fun trying to do Grand Batmas. Don't break anything. Two to the front, two inside leg back. Inside leg back. Two to the side. Carefully do your preparation pirouette. Ah, that's slippery. Oh well. I do not feel confident. Ah! I do not feel confident doing pirouettes. <laughs> we'll try the other side. That looked like garbage. I didn't see it, but I'm sure it looked like garbage. Oh, this is slippery. More slippery than I thought it was. Okay. It's all right. We're allowed to suck at pirouettes after not doing them for two weeks. Left side. Two front. Inside leg back. Two to the side and prepare for your mediocre pirouette. Uh, to the back. Inside leg front. To the side. Kicking the couch. Bad ballet dancer. Okay, so you survived the bar. And now this is where I, I grant you with a break, water, stretch. Um, how many people in the YouTube chat 
want to continue and try a small mediocre center. And is there anybody on Instagram that wants to attempt a little tiny mediocre center in their house? I'm not, I'm not giving very advanced things because I have some beginners, beginners and intermediates that want to challenge on, on YouTube. This was mostly for my YouTube followers, but I decided to do Instagram too. So I have a, I have beginners that want to challenge, nothing too crazy. It would probably just be like some tondus, and we obviously can't do any big traveling, traveling things in the center. Um, so let me know, do you guys, are you guys tired? Do you want to just stop here? Do you want me to keep going? I'm already tired. <laughs> Does anybody on Instagram give a shit? Can we take like a 10 minute break? Oh, you want to do 10 minute I don't break? I want to try to up update the camera. Okay. All right. So um, you do not have to. Where, where, where's YouTube? YouTube. <laughs> YouTube, Instagram. Um, YouTube, you do not have to leave the chat. The chat is not closing, it is staying up and active, but uh, Steve wants to do some camera updating stuff before we go into center. So, 10 minute break, stretch, water, go to the bathroom, pet the cat, do whatever. And okay, so I'll see you in 10 minutes. I'll see you. technical difficulties. I'm sorry. Are either, is anybody in, in Instagram still in the YouTube chat? And are you hearing things on YouTube yet? Can anybody on YouTube hear me? YouTube, you, you can all, YouTube can hear me now? Yeah, everyone's like, perfect, cool. Okay, right. so like, even when we're done being live and the video saves and they go watch it later, it's just one video. They don't have to go to two separate YouTube oh, videos. No, for... no, in the... Afterwards, after we do this, there will be two. There will have, there will be two. I had, there had no, I had no other option. Okay, that's fine. I just need to know if I should go back and like edit it. Um, okay, so we're going to start with, I'm sorry, ballet is hard. Five, six, seven, eight. Da, full circle all the way around. Port a uh, developé front side plié pas de beret. And now the uh, back leg, so if you're in quasi, the back leg, the back left leg is going to do an attitude. And we're going to do a promenade and a quarter, uh, plié à l'en j, pas de beret. Can you back up a little bit, like one step, thank you. Yeah, I really should be doing it with this being the long way, but whatever. So one more time because I don't know how to teach ballet anymore. <laughs> um, port de bras all the way around, Developé to the front, bring it to the side, plié, pas de beret, and then inside leg back attitude, full promenade and a quarter. So you started facing this way. You traveled towards the right shoulder and then went one extra from one extra corner, plie, pas de beret. And then we're just going to do the left. So it's super, super short. It doesn't travel because we can't travel. Um, hopefully it works with the music. And let's go. Is this good? This is in 6-8, and I can't count. <laughs> it's okay. It's not on the music. Sorry, that's not on the music. Let me find something that's... Uh... 
four, four. So I'll just use the adagio music from the bar. I'm sorry, uh, let's do the left, the left side. Side leg back attitude. Promenade. Go one extra quarter turn. CA A lounge. And we still have leftover music. Alright, let's do right again and then left again. Right again. I'm sorry, I'm a mess. Hold on. All the way around. Yeah, yeah they messed up. It's fine. Inside leg back. Attitude. Promenade. Follow the right shoulder. Keep going, one extra corner. I'm gonna kick the cabinet. Pot of beret. We have some extra music, so you know what, just balance. Do a little balance in susu. And then, and then we'll do the left again. So we should have done right twice, and now this is left twice, the second time to the left. I can't count, I can't teach. Left. again <laughs> just balance just bat you know what do arabesque J balance arabesque arms I mean <laughs> that was bad <laughs> sorry guys I can't teach anymore I forgot um, I can't count I can't teach uh, Let's do a tondu. Let me listen to the music. And it's trying to reconnect. And I'm sorry. We're back. I think we're back, yeah. Ask them what they missed because I have no idea. Okay, and um, oh, YouTube, YouTube. YouTube people, did you just miss something? Did it disconnect and then reconnect? Um, I did tondus. I don't know if you guys got the tondu combination. And then we did it again. I tried it on the slippery board and made an ass of myself. Nick says, still trying to load YouTube. Last thing was testing tondu music. Oh, so they didn't get any tondu. Okay, so do tondu again. Okay, so uh, YouTube didn't get any tondu, so we're going to do it again. Okay, um, so the combination was... Uh, we did three. Plie, change the arm. Three to the back, left leg back, or inside leg back. With a plie, we did two. Alice to that were slow. And then we did a passe preparation for a fourth position pirouette. Try to close fifth. Wow, I did a pirouette <laughs> without killing myself. And then we did the left side straight away. So you closed fifth. And then three. It's a little slower than this. Plie, three. Plie, two to the side slow. Preparation, pirouette. 
Okay, so sorry Instagram people, just bear with me. We're doing it once more for the YouTube people. Oh wait, David said, David said an ad came up. Oh, okay, you're just watching the ads. Good, watch the ads. <laughs> watch the ads on my YouTube channels. That'll give me some more money. Make Google pay me. Um, so Tandu with music, here we go, for the YouTube people that missed it because we were having connection problems. YouTube want to repeat it again? You want it again? Do it again. I did it. <laughs> the only thing you missed was I tried to do it on this, and it was bad because, you know, my feet were going off the board and then on the board, and then I was like, how do I get back on the board to do a pirouette? It was like, ooh. <laughs> it was like, it was not good. It was, uh, it was messy. So I can do Tondu again if you want to do it again. Second time for YouTubers. person did not want balances, but we're going to kind of do a balance, we'll do a fake balance, because we're going to, a faux, a phalance, we're going to do a fake balance, because we're going to do like the tiniest chasse, pas de bourre, forward, pirouette from fourth, other way, tiniest chasse, pas de bourre, and then if you, if you cannot safely do a pirouette, just mark it. And then the front foot is going to kind of go to the back corner. And if you don't want to do a full balance because it scares you, don't. You're just going to step back, point back, step back, point back. If the balance is too jumpy for you, don't do it. So instead of doing balance, balance, you'll just do step, point, step, point. And then we're going to do one final chasse. Pas de bourre, and then an ande don pirouette, or just an ande don preparation if it's too scary to turn. So the music is fast. I'm going to mark it once with the music so you can see what we're doing, and then I'll do it full out with the music. Tiny chasse. Tiny chasse. <laughs> Other way, tiny chasse. Now we gotta back up, we gotta use balance to back up. And then another tiny chasse, pirouette on dedan. Okay? So that was just me demonstrating, and now we can try, try to do it. Did that look okay? Was it not so scary? Tiny chasse. Tiny chasse, pirouette on dior. Now to the left, tiny, balance back right corner, balance back left corner, tiny chasse, ande don pirouette, to the left, to the right, <laughs> balance to the back left corner, balance to the back right corner, chasse, ande don pirouette, Let's try it again. Hopefully they, you have a big space. Hopefully you have a big space. Yeah. 
We'll try again. Let's start from the left. Start from the left. Balance it back left corner. Back right corner. Chasse to the left. Ande down pirouette. Now to the right. Chasse. Ande or pirouette. Chasse to the left. Ande or pirouette. This is so bad. Balance. Balance. Chasse to the right. Ande down pirouette. Yay. Two from fifth, three from first. One, two, first, first, fifth. One, two, first, first, fifth. One, two, three, four. A chape, a chape. Actually, a chape, one saute. That way the left foot is front and we can start from the left. Fifth, fifth, first, first, fifth. Fifth, fifth. First, first, fifth, one, two, three, four, a chape, one saute. We're gonna do so we're gonna do right and left, right and then left straight away. One, two, first, first, fifth. One, two, first, first, fifth, four, two, three, four, a chape, one saute. Left side, one, two, First, first, fifth, one, oops. First, first, fifth, one, two, three, four. I messed up, don't watch me. <laughs> yeah, don't watch me. I'm the one teaching the class and I'm messing up. One, two, first, first, fifth. One, two, first, first, fifth. One, two, three, four, a chape, saute. And then other side straight away. <sighs> Four, one, two, three, four, a pay right side. One, two, first, first, fifth, one, first, first, fifth. I'm sorry, I keep screwing up the combination. I failed. I'm fired. I'm thinking, assemble, saute because I don't want to do too many glissades. We don't have a lot of room to travel. So I'm thinking, assemble, saute, assemble, saute, to the front, assemble front, sorry, assemble back, repeat the first half again, assemble, saute, assemble, saute, one changement, and then one, Entre chicot, and that way your right foot is front and you're all set to do the left side. Assemble, saute, assemble, saute, assemble front, assemble inside leg back, repeat the assemble, saute, assemble, saute, one changement, one entre chicot. Let's listen to the music, see if the music works. Saute, saute, one front, one back. Assemble, saute, assemble, saute, changement. Entre chicot, left side. Okay, so it works. It works. Assemble, saute, assemble, saute, assemble, front, assemble, back. Assemble, saute, assemble, saute, changement, entre chicot. Assemble, saute, assemble, saute, assemble front, assemble back. Assemble, saute, assemble, saute, changement, entre chicot. It's, it's hard on the carpet because it's squishy, it's like quicksand. You know, the, the, the floors in the dance studios are sprung. Bounce back, yeah. They're springy. This is like... It's like you're batting with a donut. <laughs> okay, I want to teach you en boite after a jeté. So, mo like, the, 
this music, the speed of this music would ordinarily be like do 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 but I'm going to do it like half that time so people can learn en boite because I have some beginners here. So it's going to it's going to be jeté. And what happens after your jeté is you jump and your feet kind of show a little susu in the air. The front one comes up and then the back one comes up. So you did jeté. This is how you start in the middle and then you finish like that. Let me let me do it with like a real jump so you can see what I mean. So jeté um boite. So you jeté this little thing happens in the middle and then you go back to how you started. And then from there the back foot brushes into another jeté. So we're just starting over the same thing to the left. Jeté en boite. And then what did I want after that? So a little, little trick, a little tricky for the beginners. We did jeté en boite. Jeté en boite, the leg that's in the back. Close with the assemblé front. So all we did was jeté, change, change. Jeté, change, change. Assemblé front, land in fifth. And then Gargoyard. no gargoyade. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then I don't remember what I wanted to do after that because it's me. Me listen. One, en boite, left, en boite, assemblé. Okay. So, uh, jeté, en boite. I'm doing this very slow for the beginners, assemblé. Little susu. And then you're going to step back and prepare. You're going to do a tendu with your whatever leg is front. I don't know if you're doing this flipped or whatever leg is front, and you're going to do a brise, which is, it has the same feeling as an assemblé. You brush and then close fifth. The trick is the back foot is brushing through first position and you want to land with the other foot front. So the, the, the foot that did the brush has to end in back. So how do you do that? If you're just getting a feel for it, you can start you can start doing it like an assemblé, like brush, assemblé, but you're really supposed to beat the legs. So you have a brush beat before you land in fifth. Um, and the music is slow, so you should have time for it. You have this assemblé, you have a susu, you have a second to do your little preparation and like think about what you're going to do, and then brise. Uh, so, jeté, en boite, jeté, en boite, assemblé, susu, prepare, and then brush this back leg jump and get the other leg to close front. Uh, I hope that makes sense. And uh, it's slow, but I don't know if there's, I don't know if we have enough space or enough time to go right into the other side. So let's just do the right side and then we'll switch it around and I'll talk about the left side and then we'll do the left side. Jeté, en boite, jeté, en boite, assemblé, susu, step back, and brise. How is the brise for beginners? Well, you don't have to answer. I know you're watching. You don't have to come to your computer and type and stop what you're doing. Um, we got two people on Instagram, but I don't think I don't I don't think the Instagram people are into it <laughs> as much as my YouTube people are. So we're going to talk about the left, the left side. Um, so you start with your left foot back, if you're doing it to the left side. Jeté, 
Amboate, jete. If the arms are confusing you, just keep the arms down. Because I'm, I'm switching, but if the arms confuse you, just keep them down. So we did jete, amboate, jete, amboate, assemble, susu, step back, and the back, the back leg brushes front, and you gotta jump and get this leg to beat back and then land front. So from your, uh, from your preparation, uh, brush and get the left foot to land front in fifth position. So let's try it to the left. And then maybe if we can figure out spacing, we'll do right and left straight away. Maybe, we'll see. I don't even know if I can fit it, but we'll try. So left side. Jete, emboite. Jete, emboite. Assemble, susu, prepare, brise. Now let's see if we can fit right and left. Right and left, left, left straight away. So we, what will happen is jete en boite, jete en boite, assemble, susu, prepare, brise, and then this left foot back is going to start straight away into the next jete. En boite, jete, en boite, assemble, susu, prepare, brise. And I have to start like kind of far back. back yeah. That's uh, a challenge. Do, do jete en boite traveling back? Travel backwards? <laughs> no, thank you. In the forward position. <laughs> Ethan Stiefel style. Is that what the actual combination was? It wasn't, no, there was no en boite, but it was jete's traveling backwards in the forward position was what he gave his students in the thing, I think. How long has it been since we started? Because this might 25 stop. 25 minutes since the third time. Oh, well, if Instagram decides to end the chat, end the stream, I don't care. If this is go more. Go on YouTube. And watch no, go on YouTube. All right, so we're going to try it left and right. Get ready. En boite, jete, en boite, assemble, susu, prepare, brise left side, jete, en boite, jete, en boite, assemble, susu, prepare, brise. Okay, we're obviously not going to do a grand allegro. You can stretch, you can do some splits and pretend you're doing leaps, but I think as far as class and jumps and center, I think that's like all we can do in our tiny little living rooms. Uh, I, I think that's it. <laughs> so um, you don't have to do a full reverence, just thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, <laughs> thank you. And uh, I know we had to stop and restart a couple of times because we had some technical difficulties. Do you want to do like a Q&A, see if anyone has any questions or anything? You can uh, sit. Uh, do you have a Q&A? Does anybody, anybody have a question? Anybody have any questions or anything or suggestions for future classes? Does anybody have questions? Does anybody on Insta? I only got three people on Instagram. I don't think the Instagram people are actually watching for a class. Mm -hmm. I think they're just bored and just going, you know, on Instagram, it's me versus like f every other yeah. ballet dancer giving yeah. a class. So they all have their options. My Andy, my customer service claps. Timmons says thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Yeah, thanks for watching. <laughs> and uh, you know, good good for you guys for trying to keep doing it and stay in shape, even though even though you're probably like on lockdown, you know, you're in quarantine. I don't know, I know it's like, I think quarantine or quote lockdown is just now starting in Florida. Oh, really? Yeah, so I think New York got it first and now it's starting to spread south like to other parts of the country. So I don't know if where you live, you're stuck inside and they don't want you going out or 
I don't Timon know. says the Brise breakdown was great. Oh, okay, good. I'm glad. Um, you know, I don't know if, you know, wherever you live, your ballet classes are all canceled. I know here, it was like two weeks ago, they, they shut down all the studios, any gyms, any dance studios. Theaters were closing, so both my shows got canceled. I never got to perform in either of my shows. We're sorry for doing this such at the last minute like we always do. So in the future, we'll try to give at least a few days notice so that you can prepare. <laughs> yeah, I remember on Sunday, on Sunday we were doing the Salty Sunday chat and the, the general consensus was like, Friday, can you do a live stream on Friday and give class? And well, I was like, give any warning. And I, well, I forgot today was Friday. Yeah. I didn't realize today was Friday. The days are just like bleeding into one another. And I'm like, what's today? <gasps> oh, shit. <laughs> I told them I was going to give them class. Quick, Steve, hurry. Yeah. And we just like set up the camera and like scrambled to, to do it. And I didn't I didn't even prepare a class. That's why I'm a little like scatterbrained. I, I didn't know my own combinations. I just kind of made it up on the fly. Um, so yeah, uh, I apologize. We'll give you more notice and um, maybe maybe I can do more than one. I can do one that's like a beginner class and then intermediate class and you know I want to say advanced class but it's hard to really like be advanced in such a tiny spot because you know advanced classes usually involve like long traveling, directional changes. Talk about that outfit, said Sara Braxis, who's just joining us, it seems. You just missed class. <laughs> my outfit, my outfit is a pair of, I don't, I don't think these are ballet tights, but they're warm. They're like fuzzy on the inside. They're like, they're like warm tights, like, I don't know. Um, they're quite thick. They're very substantial. And um, I am wearing ballet slippers under my socks. But the thing I don't like about my ballet slippers is like the edge of the, the sole, the little, the sole, the, the lip of it or the edge of it gets caught on the carpet even more than socks do. So I decided to just wear socks. And this leotard probably belonged to my mom. <laughs> because all of my dance clothes are hand-me-downs. And the socks, I think we bought at American Apparel. Oh yeah, 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 those are them? Not them, but a version of, because yeah, we were, we, there's these and then there's like the thigh highs. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, so I'm hungry yeah, and, and stinky. I didn't, I didn't eat lunch yet. I just had breakfast. I have this button here that I can run an ad, so I think we'll say goodbye. You're gonna run an I'm ad. Run an ad. Watch the ad, and then and then we're gonna hang, then we're gonna end the stream. Oh, okay. All right. So um, we're gonna go. <laughs> I have another video that I want to upload. I, I Steve on this camera that you're watching me on right now. Steve set up that camera over here, like above the couch, and filmed me taking a virtual class from my teacher. So I'm going to right? yeah, so I'm going to see if I can turn that into a YouTube video so you can you can follow along with the class that I'm following along. <laughs> um, I will edit edit it and do voiceover to like say the combination before it happens cuz there's no way you're going to understand what my teacher is saying. Um, so, you know, I'm going to I'm going to try to keep posting um, Although, like, I'm obviously not going to get into a studio anytime soon. But I got this slab of wood, <laughs> so I can, I can teach, like, some other things that require, like, brushing. Uh, like, uh, any, any, like, you know, maybe I could do a breeze. I don't know if I did a brise tutorial yet. I did, like, a petit allegro general tutorial or, like, a beat tutorial. But, you know, with this little board, I can probably, like, do something. I can do something. So I'm going to try to be creative and I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what comes out. Um, so everybody, thanks for joining. Thanks for watching. Thank you as always for those who donate. I got a couple of very sweet donations. Thank you so much. Uh, again, if you are like a poor struggling person, I don't want you to feel obligated to donate. I'm not out to rip you off. Donations are appreciated, but not mandatory by any means. The goal is to get Google to pay me. So to get Google to pay me, 
we're going to play an ad. <laughs> and if you watch it, Google pays me more. So <laughs> goodbye. I love you. And we'll talk soon. I just put myself on the screen, too, using my webcam. So thanks for watching. I'm going to do an ad now and then hang up. So thanks, everybody.